EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the NFC champions. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We are honored to be here for the biggest spectacle in sports, the Super Bowl. Are you ready, partner? I am more than ready, and I love the word you used honor because it is an honor to be here it's a privilege to be here my excitement is just about to burst through the booth i can't wait to do this well and sitting with both of these teams and talking in the meetings and media day and all the hoopla that goes into this there was one common theme they're ready to stop the talking and start playing football yeah they were probably ready a while ago now they can just focus on it it's done the only talking they have to worry about now is post game and they hope that they'll be talking as the winning team and we'll see you know both sides come in with a game plan to start we'll see how the adjustments are made throughout because there are always adjustments in this game i want to see if they come out conservative trying to minimize errors or if they have enough confidence to attack early and try and take advantage of the other team's nervousness a running play on first down will get four up to the 29 I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now a quick pass to Richardson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that so from the 36 now first and 10 hey, off the play fake Leary elsewhere to no avail. Here's second and ten. To throw again. Leary. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jamar Chase, the intended receiver. And it's third down. set of downs started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the mark. sort of opens the playbook now second and short what do you think early shot here i like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me i want to take that shot early and loosen things up and a promising start as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down
Once again, they run with Mixon. Gets around him. And he's tapping a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Complete. Richardson has it. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Now this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool, he looks calm, he looks collected in marching them down the field. And Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But you know, they throw... They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And a short return to the six-yard line. Start this drive out on the ground. And nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 38 now, here's second and a couple. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 11 yards there, first down. Second and a yard. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. That's caught down the field by Palmer. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. A nice mix-up on the play call. Of red establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Pretty effective run there. Now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. Here's Tucker. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him on first and goal. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the open drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. So that does it for the first quarter of Super Bowl 62. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's
here's second and goal. On play action, Prescott. Here's Tucker, complete on the right side. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the right hash and a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is right there. It's good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. First at their own 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Let's go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Leary. It's complete. He finds Falk here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And that's out quickly to chase. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Just picking up yardage of bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run it. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. A three-yard touchdown run, and the Bengals have taken the lead. 
Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it, and he gets it done. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. The 71 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. Nothing fancy there. A little smash mouth football right up the gut on the dive, and it turns into a huge play. You talk about the fastest way to the secondary. Right up the gut, as you described, and sprinted into the secondary for a long, long run. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Prescott. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Adams the man in motion right. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And for the second time this half, on comes a field goal unit here. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was to the passing game. The partners are probably defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on first down. Leary. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. The slot man in motion right. On 
First and ten. Leary eluding the pressure right. Fighting to stay upright. A poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. It's Roger McCreary with the pick. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. They run. It's Tucker. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. There's so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy can block, a guy can catch, and a guy can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles as we just saw on that pickup. before he crosses over out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why not just handle this one? Get all the yards you needed and then some. And made that snap a huge success. We got 47. We got 46. Prescott looks to throw on first. Over the middle complete. It's Tucker. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best of ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Muck that down for a win in the defense's column. Third and short yardage. Prescott escaping the pressure right. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today from the right hash, and this one just a chipping. And his kick is good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. So the defense able to force the interception and the offense working their way to field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides would be thrilled with that. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. to get going and with a little under a minute to play they may be looking to pick up some yardage here maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive and that is incomplete oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down as soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Now a second and ten. Now a give inside for Falk. And he'll work this one out to about the 38. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten, when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. 
picked off by Marcus Williams. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second and five. And a run on the inside handoff. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. And they'll run with Tucker. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. With a fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Prescott to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Prescott off play action. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TV. And now the offense for the Bengals being called back out as they'll try to add on two more. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. 
Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Prescott. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown! From ten yards out. And the Condors have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. D'Amico Ryans, even with the defensive mindset, he'll elect to go for two here. And he will find the end zone here, and the lead moves up to seven. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Now they can't bring him down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Down the right side Jamal Chase, 82 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. start on the ground here on first down and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down with the end of all that hitting and hollering it was a four yard run so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves defensively you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run but the goal shut it down for two yards or less that's when you start to feel good about yourselves second and six just inside the 30 From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up four.
for Roberto Sanchez. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is brought in at the 21. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. There's a quarterback who's learned his lesson. He's thrown a few interceptions so far. That time he said, I'm making sure nobody catches this one. Second and ten. Now a give left side to fall. And good running here as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 40 yards now on the ground, uh, just seven carries. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So first and ten now from the 30. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. A nice gain of 21 yards. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. On the handoff, this is fall. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Well, two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here? Not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. to throw on third and goal. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Evan McPherson out for the Bengal field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. McPherson's kick is good. And they have regained the lead. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. In motion right goes Adams. 
Second down, Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Well, he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he showed the defense. Play action now, Prescott. scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, they have that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area, and it winds up incomplete. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. To throw is Prescott. to the 25 before it's all said and done. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It's been a fun That's one through three. It always is the final quarter. Second and seven. Here's a quick throw by Dak, complete out wide. Receiver in motion right. Off the play fake. Prescott. No way to turn this to the end. He goes down. Sack back at the 29. Brady Jarrett with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. This one is right down Broadway. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Since the offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised. Probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory. All even here in this fourth quarter. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Looking to throw on second down. Leary. And that's going to be caught, T. Higgins. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a 
gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 62 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the one pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll go right back to the ground with Falk. Down to the 41. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. From the 41, here's second down and seven. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that is incomplete. Force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on because right now he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy and what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. give. Here's Falk. And yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. And that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game, but there's no reason to suggest he's going to slip 
slowed down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do. Keep churning out first downs. Here we go. First and goal. They'll try to run this one in. It's a touchdown. It's a broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's first and 10. At 47. To throw Prescott. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Here's Dak. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. They got his man complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? We got 47. Sweat. Sweat today. Here's Prescott. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And then the out of bounds just shy of the 40. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now Prescott. This is Still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. So what a Super Bowl this has been. All tied in the final minute as it kicks away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And not a whole lot there. Maybe three yards on first down.
And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. with the football here to start the overtime session as the kick is away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Bengals drive about to get going. Well, CD certainly doesn't get any more exciting than this. Overtime in the postseason. Of course, keep in mind things are different than the old way it was. In the playoffs, now both teams guaranteed a possession. So a touchdown here, if they get one, the ball game will not be over. And partners, we both know many people have called for this change before they finally got it. After the Buffalo Kansas City Classic in the 2022 playoffs. Patrick Mahomes and KC, they score first. Game over. Josh Allen and Bills never touch the football. People hated that. Now if the game reaches OT, every playoff team has a chance to fight to extend their season. So the plan has got to be. You win the toss and you take the ball, reach the end zone and score, and put as much pressure on your opponent as possible to try and win a game in OT in the playoffs. Tense moments in overtime of a Super Bowl. Remember, a touchdown doesn't yet clinch it as they come up on second down. Looking to throw. Leary. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that nearly picked off. Oh, that would have been a big INT here in overtime. Instead, they'll get another shot on third down. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there, waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And the defense did its job, now they're going to get the football with a chance to run it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we've got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And boy, they did it well. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The Bengals bring out their punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. What can Prescott do in the OT? And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Hey, 
All they need is a field goal. Any kind of score here on this second drive would be a game winner. It's first and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Throwing. Prescott. Flushed out right. And just not enough on the throw there. Got around his feet and incomplete. But the connection they got has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with it. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. Here's Tucker completing the right side. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all his progressions downfield. Forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force hey, a fourth down? Kill, kill, kill. Hey, kill, 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 kill. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll kick it away for the second time. and 10. To throw on second down, Leary. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I love the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. This now in field goal range. It's a question of when you want to try it. Here's first down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him.
Here's second and four from the 24. Running right, here's Falk. Four yards to pick up, first down. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. 